Hi guys, it's Macabuzzi here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song Break My Baby by Kaleo. I've done one reaction to Kaleo before and to me they felt like a kind of southern rock pub band but with some really fucking good vocals which is interesting because they are from Iceland. But that was only the one song that I've heard and I, as we have established on this channel one song usually is not representative of the artist. So we're going to go back in and we're going to check out another track, Break My Baby, and see if my initial idea was right or if they have a broader range. And at the end of the video, we're then going to put it into the emo scale and decide how emo is it. So stick around to the end of the video for that. Straight away, the, those drums sound shockingly good. I like how splashy the cymbals are and the fucking the beef behind the toms. That was nice. <laughs> Feels like Posia has joined like a pub rock band, and then somebody's went right, went into the studio because I have found the filthiest fucking guitar tone that I can possibly get. That guitar tone, right, is like a pig in the muck. We hear peace. It's filthy. Sounds fucking phenomenal though. Like the production is phenomenal. The guitar work is really cool. Like that wee riff that they've got going on is just, like they know that they've just got a nice riff. But his singing is, mm, that's the thing that, his vocals is the thing that makes this band sound as good as they are because musically it's kind of like generic rock. To an extent, his vocal tone is completely different from what you would expect for this kind of music. So then when you put the two together, it gives you something that's just a wee bit different. It's a wee bit easy listening, but also we enough kind of grit in there to be, yeah, just a wee bit filthy. I like that. You know she loves to Yeah. 
actually, you know what? His, his vocals remind me of the gruff singer from Gomez. But then when they've added the wee bit of overdrive onto his vocals as well, like when he hits the proper high notes uh, or like proper rough notes and the overdrive then takes it into being proper distorted, that sounds just nice. <laughs> Was good that was good the guitar solo was fucking cool i like the way that they were having a wee conversation between the guitars where i was just maintaining that same beat and he was kind of gaining a wee bit in the background with the singing but then oh that note there was fucking wild this song started off as kind of generic but kind of good and has then just became pure jam session that is actually fucking fantastic That ending was fucking epic the way that built up. That was so, so good. I couldn't even tell you what that song was about, to be honest with you, because normally I like to go in and like pick out the lyrics and try and figure out what a song's about whilst giving the music some kind of lip service, but no, I just get swept away with the guitar tone. The guitar tone throughout that entire thing was absolutely fucking beautiful and I don't know how they've done it, but it also sounds like the vocals was put through a tube amp, which is just weird and I liked it. The production on every aspect of that was just glorious. The start of the song, when I'm saying it's like a generic rock song, what I'm meaning is like, for exactly what I said, it's a generic rock song, it's just it's just a rock song, it's fine, it's good. Like generic doesn't mean bad, it just means that, you know, it, it's no like doing anything that's particularly groundbreaking or earth shattering, but it was good. And then it then just segues nicely into fucking batshit crazy jam session where the lot of them just went right, it's no time to show off. Let me know in the comments below, did you like that song or do you not like that song? I've been Mark Abuzi, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.